And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Get out of there. God, this is the scariest fucking moment ever. I knew that was gonna happen. Ariel's been a bitch since day one, but I need to forgive her for all the shit she's talked and just move on. Dude, we gotta do better next time. I guess that was a no-brainer. No more touching other people's food. No more calling out other people's numbers. At the end of the day, we need to get the dishes out. Mise couldn't be a dishwasher in the restaurants that I've worked at. She should be a telemarketer. That would be a great job for her. She likes to talk about things that are irrelevant. We still need to be a team, so we need to be past all this shit. While the women struggle to bond as a team, a member of the blue team... Everybody's already asking when I'm going to climb in bed with you. ...is hoping to do some bonding of his own. So I had my boobs done on July 22nd. Speaking of, these girls need some air. You need help letting them out? I can't help it. I'm a natural flirt, I guess. Honey, you don't want to see these things. They're like two rocks on my chest. Some chefs choose booze. Some chefs choose drugs as their vice. I guess I choose women. It's not I have in my calf. So bad. Time for a massage. It's here. Like that? Yeah. That's right. Oh. oh my god. What is going on over there? Ashley, anytime you need a massage, I got you. Oh my god. <laughs> this way? Hey. 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 Ah, I can't see! Ah. Oh. Ah. Bonjour. Hier soir, votre plus grosse fault est votre communication. Did anybody understand what I just said? Eh? C'est un peu embarrassant. It was an embarrassing service. Oh, Sir Talks a lot, Captain Know It All. Stop sucking dick for the camera. When I was a young chef, I got my training in France and everybody spoke French. I had to communicate with other chefs without knowing entirely what they were saying. And trust me, I got my ass kicked. Here's the thing, you all speak the same language. And last night, you couldn't communicate. Today's challenge will force you to communicate more than ever before. All of you, take off your chef jackets. Christina, Aaron, let's go. Written on the back of each jacket is a stunning recipe. The only way to successfully execute your recipe is for your teammates to communicate what's on your back. Is that clear? Yes, yes chef. chef. 40 minutes starts now. Let's go. In today's communication challenge, each chef must follow a recipe written on the back of his or her jacket. Grilled patties and buns, top patties with cheese. You're making cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers? Place patties on bun with aioli. You're making cheeseburgers with aioli. Success will depend on how well teammates can relay instructions to each other. You got a burger, bun with aioli. Oh, bun and burger? So it's a burger with Thousand Island? Yeah. Okay. The team with the best communication and execution of their recipes will win the challenge. Hey, where are the onions? Who's got the onions? It's like a regular burger. You know, that's, that's not impressive. Hey, who's got that smoked paprika? Where's it at? So I figured that, you know, I'm gonna hit it with a twist. While Frank decides to put his own spin on the recipe. In a separate pot, 
warm milk. Sliced chives, finely diced bell pepper. Other chefs are following their recipes to the letter. Cook spaghetti al dente. Cook pancetta and garlic together. Carbonara? Carbonara, exactly. You're gonna need to chop pancetta, you're gonna need to chop garlic. You have a carbonara, so think carbonara, okay? Lay phyllo dough out, cut into strips. I see where this is going. It's basically like a spanakopita. Okay, yep. Phyllo dough. I think you're making, um, Pastry triangle. Uh, a fucking Stuff spanakopita. Yes. I've never made a spanakopita in my in my life. Just fucking fold it right over. Like that? Yeah. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Just tell me what it is. Like I'm trying to figure, hold on. Eggplant parm is what it looks like. Perfect. This is a dish I've cooked 50,000 times. Like, I love eggplant. 30 minutes to go. Oh my god. Ugh. What are you making? Fish and chips, looks like. It's, it's a fried awesome. fish sandwich. Oh, fish sandwich, nice. While most of the chefs have begun making their dishes. Ground beef, jalapeno, chili powder, and paprika. You're making a taquito. <gasps> Taquitos! I know that! Others are still trying to figure out just what they're supposed to be cooking. So it's kind of like you're, you're making, not a taco, but, um, you know, like, like a kind of burrito and you sear it and fry it. Okay, I got this. I can make a burrito. Psh. 15 minutes to go! Dude, you're making fucking, you're making cheesesteaks, bro. Cheesesteaks? Making a cheesesteak. Ashley, can yes. you tell me what kind of steak I need? It looks like you're making a cheesesteak. Got it. Thank you. I'm totally gonna nail this. I know how to grill peppers, and I know how to cook steak, so this is gonna be a breeze. Vanessa. Yes, chef. The gas is off. No, 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 no. Turn no. the gas off. They are on. Seven minutes to go. Um. Can you read my recipe again? There's no way this is right. This does not look right. Lay phyllo dough out, cut into strips. Wait, what are you saying about strips? It says lay phyllo dough out, cut into strips, fold end over to form triangle. Dude, you didn't tell me that. We were supposed to do it in strips first. But that, that doesn't make sense. What the fuck? Mies failed at communicating. I wasn't supposed to know what was on the back of my jacket. I was supposed to trust her. Let's get rid of that. Dude, I'm restarting my fucking dish right now. She's like, I'm starting over. Kristen blew that dish. Good luck. Last five minutes, ladies. Come on. You guys, whose chicken is this? Whose chicken tomato. is this? That's, that's eggplant. It's mine. It's eggplant. Flip it. Anybody not going to make it now? No, we're good. Let's go, Blue. One minute to go. Come on. One minute to go, ladies. One minute. Are we ready? Come on, ladies. Frank, you ready for your burgers? Yeah, pull them out. Put them on the down. Coming down. Hot, hot. Last 30 seconds. Let's go. Behind you. Behind you, behind you, behind you. Currently played. 15 seconds to go. Come on, guys. Let's go. Yeah, right here, right here. Guys, go. Come on. Five, four, let's three, go. Let's go. Let's go. two, let's go. one. Stop. There we go, Pooh. Well there, there we go. There we go. There we go. Good job. Good job. <laughs> yeah. OK, Red Team, Blue Team, each team received the exact same recipes. So I'll be judging them head to head. Let's start off with Kristen and Hassan. Let's go. Let's go, Haas. Come on, big Haas. Get it. Kristen, do you know what it is? It's a spanakopita. Turn around. Who was reading that? I was, chef. Mies. I mean, honestly, what? It, it looks fucking disgusting. Soggy, damp. Fuck me. I epically bombed, like down like the Titanic. That's up. Tell me about the filling. Chef, the filling is uh, spinach. I cooled that down, and then I mixed that with mm. the Parmesan cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Point to the blue tip. Thanks, partner. Frank and Ashley. Up we yeah, go, Frankie. please. Come on, Frankie boy. OK. Ashley, describe yours, please. I have for you a ground beef slider with aioli made of caramelized onion, mayo, ketchup, and pickle relish. As I'm looking at Ashley's dish, I'm thinking that it looked like a regular burger to me. There's no way she's winning this one. I got it. Frank, describe yours. What I did was I got some pancetta and rendered it down until crispy, just for another texture and to enhance the flavor of the burger, and a little bit of liquid smoke. Liquid smoke? Yes, just, just okay. a drop. I didn't ask you to get crazy. I just want you to cook what was on your back. Do the recipe. Frank, I want to grab you by the neck and just shake you. The recipe is the recipe, and you can't deviate from it. Here's the thing. Had you followed the recipe, that would have been a near-perfect burger. Ashley, congratulations. Thank One you, point chef. to the red team. Good job. Good job. She only won because I lost. That's not a winner. That's, that's not a winner. Eddie, Amanda, let's go. 
Wow. Right, uh, Amanda, describe this, please. Um, I made a ground beef burrito. It's seasoned beautifully, but it is not a burrito. It's taquito. Ah, uh, fuck me, man. Danny did not tell me it was fucking taquito. Eddie has not only made the right dish. We've got the right kind of heat in there. Point the booty. He has done it correctly. Yes. Next up are Mies and Alan, who both made fish sandwiches. Visually, they look great. Beautiful, glistening, moist. Alan, fish could do with a bit more color. Point to the ladies. Good job. Well done. Good job. With the score tied once again. Vanessa, Kevin, let's go. It's time for the battle of the cheesesteaks. Are you allergic to salt? No, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's so bland, it's extraordinary. Who tasted your dish? Uh, it was me, chef. Good job. Point yes. to the blue team. Up next, spaghetti carbonara, prepared by Ariel for the women. Tasty, really tasty. And Jared for the men. Spaghetti's cooked perfectly. Thank you, chef. You know, they're on point, and you follow the recipe exact. You've both got a point. Great job. Well done. Where do you go? Thank you. Joe, Jackie, let's go. Now, with her eggplant parmesan. Wow. Jackie must win this round to keep the women's chances alive. Man, they look different. Joe, describe your dish. Uh, it's a rustic uh, eggplant parmesan. It's some chiffonade basil. It's garnish. It's crunchy. It's delicious. Thank you, chef. Jackie, what's the secret behind a, a good baked eggplant? It's got to go where? In the oven. I put it in the pizza oven. Don't even worry about it. I got this. I got this. Just visually here, you can see that, you know, it's nowhere near cooked. Yeah, and it looks terrible. Big point to the blue team. Congratulations, blue team wins. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Hell yeah! There we go! Yeah. There we go! Yeah. There we go! Yeah. There we go! Yeah. Uh, Jackie, you forgot your diapers. That's like a disgrace. The Italian girl from Jersey fucked up an eggplant parm. Men, well done. Thank, Thank you, you, Chef. You are in for an amazing day at the beachfront Bacara Resort in sunny Santa Barbara. Woo! Yeah! Where you'll receive an extraordinary lesson in mixology. Awesome! No way. After that, foot massages. Oh, oh. Nice! <laughs> I'm going to a mixology class. I'm going to be sitting poolside. Awesome. This place is incredible. Get changed. Your limos are waiting. Well done. Yeah! Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Ladies, you're in for a tedious and, unfortunately, a very smelly day. You have to gut, scale, break down a huge delivery of fresh sea bass, 100 pounds of them. This is going to be prepped and used tableside ahead of tomorrow night's dinner service. Got it? Yes, sir. Off you go. Unbelievable. Dude, I'm sorry. I've never worked with that shit. Mies really dropped the ball. She didn't even attempt to help me do it right. Anybody know anything oh, about yeah, phyllo dough? Yeah, I just yeah. have a quick question. Yeah. Does it say butter or does it say egg wash? Egg wash. Melt butter, brush it with phyllo strips. Yeah, like strips. Yeah. Oh my god. Kristen, I'm sorry it didn't work out for you, but I mean, it really wasn't my fault. While the red team prepares for a gut-wrenching day, the blue team arrives in sunny Santa Barbara. Oh my God, look at this. Wow, amazing. Oh my God. Oh man, it's like all eyes on me, baby. Welcome to the car resort and spa. We got people ready to rub my feet, food, champagne. That's the VIP treatment. We did pretty well on this one. <laughs> yeah. I've never been to a resort before. I've never been to a spa before. I've never seen the Pacific Ocean before. Jeff Ramsey, you know, when he rewards you, you know, he really rewards you. I don't know about you guys, but really I'm getting a massage. It's time for a foot massage because I had really bad feet. This guy just, I was in love. Oh. 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 Ah, this feels so good. Oh. Oh my God. Ugh. Oh. Oh, don't stop, please. <laughs> Ooh, Jared, buddy. While men's massages, oh my God, have nearly finished, back in Hell's Kitchen. This boning is extremely annoying. Oh my God. 
the women's punishment is taking its toll. It really is bad. Oh my god. Gutting the fish is just slice the sucker down and rip its guts out. And some people think that's gross. I think it's great. <laughs> I'll rip anybody's guts out if you let me. Time for lunch. Time for lunch, ladies. This punishment is going on forever. And we were starving. I made a nice fish head soup for you. Some people like to eat the eyes. I don't always, but this one's hanging out a little bit. Oh, no. See you ladies later. I'm starving. That's the biggest head of a fish I've ever seen in my life. This is going to suck. This is like snot. What is that? You know, I don't know what's Maybe mean. a tongue. Do you have a tongue? This is delicious. <laughs> This fish head soup sucked. Listen, I'm loving this. I've never had fish head soup, but it was really good. Who has an eyeball? I'll, I'll swallow one. Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna vomit? Jackie is disgusting. No. no. Sorry, no. Fuck no. <laughs> While the red team suffers through their fish head soup, the blue team Welcome to is excited about the next part of their reward. Wow. My yeah. name's Joe, by the way. Not yeah, Ned. Yeah. After the monumental foot massage, first thing we see is this beautiful goddess of a mixologist. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Will you marry me? We're going to do fresh cucumbers. 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 <laughs> cucumbers. She wouldn't say cucumbers, she would say cucumbers, and she would say congratulations. Garnish with cucumber on top. And it was really kind of high, really cute. Thank you. Oh, I just burped up fish head soup. You're so gross. <laughs> You're so gross. Guys, come on. Why are you guys shushing me? What's going on? We're just trying to focus, babe, because like, everybody's- Focus on zesting lemons? Okay, people, lighten up, all right? Jackie, you gotta find a filter. Sorry, that's not me. These bitches get distracted over fucking nothing. I love being hyper and talking all the time. Focus, focus on the lemon zesting. Sorry, honey. It's only gonna get worse. Ew, what the fuck stinks like dirty pussy? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I'm getting really, really irritated right now. I don't care at this point, okay? Dirty hooker. Dude, if you don't shut the fuck up, I swear to Christ, dude, I'm gonna snap. Snap. The girl's a mess. Some people just will dig their own graves, and she's doing a pretty good job. At least I don't have a high-pitched voice. That would be, like, super annoying. With the doors to Hell's Kitchen just a few hours away from opening, both teams get into the kitchen early to prep for tonight's dinner service. Do we have a backup marinara down there? Yeah, backup marinara is down here. Where are we at, ladies? Where are we at? The red team is ready and feeling... Zen, ladies, zen. We're good. Fellas, please listen up for a second. This is very important. Make sure we're doing it by the recipe ways, not the way we know how to do it. Are you fucking kidding me? Really, Jared? We're gonna take jabs at one of our strongest team members. Do things the way the recipe says, not the way you know it. I wanna break the curse. Win the yeah. challenge, win the service. Let's do fucking three in a row, and then maybe we can have one beer tonight each, you know? Yeah. Ladies, let's go. Line up, please. Gents, line up. Quickly, let's go. Tonight, there is someone very special in the house. Uh, men, because you won the challenge, uh, you've got the pleasure of actually cooking for him. Astronaut Buzz Aldrin is joining us for dinner tonight. All right. Who's Buzz Aldrin? What is this, Toy Story? Are we ready? Yes, Chef! Let's go, guys. Woo-woo! Mourinho, open Hell's Kitchen, please. So with her. That's it. With the dining room fully booked... Are there any celebrities here? Tonight's guests will be treated not only to Chef Ramsay's classic menu... Okay. But also, a sea bass appetizer that will be prepared tableside by Ashley for the red team and Alan for the blue team. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Oh, I am. On order, four girls, table 32. Don't wait for me. Appetizer fire, one special table side, two scallops, two risotto, entree, two Arctic char, two Wellington. Two Arctic char, yes. two Wellington. Hey, hey, ladies. Yes. That was flat. Yes, yes. yes. Vanessa, call back the order. We have special table side. We have... 
to... Oh, fuck. I called this out 10 seconds ago. Entrees, what were they, Vanessa? They were... One well. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I did not hear that. Listen, concentrate, get your head down. Yes, yes chef. chef. Yes, chef. While Vanessa is already confused. So when we do the lobster, we put it in one of these. No! Oh. Over in the blue kitchen. On order, four covers, table 22. Fire, appetizers, one special table side, one risotto, two pizza. One risotto, yes, yes. two pizza, yes, chef. The spotlight is on Jared on appetizers. Awesome. Yes, sweetheart. Who is trying to get the blue team off to a strong start. Can you taste this? In this competition, we're all out for ourselves, but we know that we have to work together as a team to get as far as we can. Start with that wooden spoon, though, Jared. Yes. That starch out. Coming, right? Yes, right now. Chef, risotto. Risotto delicious. Who made that first risotto? I did, Chef. Chef Ramsey tells me my risotto is awesome, and then it's like, my risotto, my risotto. Thank you, Hassan. No problem, man. While Jared, with an assist from Hassan, has gotten the blue team off to a good start. Back in the red kitchen. About four minutes out on this risotto. Danny, on appetizers, is depending on Vanessa on the fish station. Dropping the lobster for risotto. To help her deliver her first two lobster risottos to the pass. Danny, where are we? Four minutes, chef. I need you to step up now. Yes, chef. My heart is pounding. I want Chef Ramsey to see that I am a leader. Walking with risotto. Come right behind me. Walking lobster tail. Risotto right now. Good. Put it down and yes, disappear. Chef. Let's go. Come in there, Chef. Pizza lobster tail. She gave Thank me you. one lobster for a double risotto. I told him two by two by two. So we have two risotto in the window. Hey, two lobster. Two lobsters so, on right now. I know it's right like now. wiping their ass, but you got two. They bring one lobster tail. It's on, it's in, it's working. Thank you. Vanessa fucked up like damn circus was going on. Do, 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 do. Vanessa, let's go. Running with the second lobster. Second lobster tail. There you go, thank you. Very nice, that risotto. Thank now you, that we're chef. consistent, but multitask. Yes, chef, absolutely, okay. chef. Oof, like, okay, you know, I might be doing okay right now. It's perfect, because I'm three minutes out on risotto. With appetizers continuing to make their way to the red diners. Yeah. Very well. Good. Really good. Chef Ramsay is ready to move on to the women's first order of entrees. Listen! On order, table 30, to Snapper, to Tuna, to Wellington. Yes, yes chef. chef! Kristen, call back that order. Two special. Call back that six order. Quiet, everybody. Special, two special table Kristen, sides. Kristen, yes, call chef. back the order. Two special, two table sides. To risotto, uh, to, to Wellington. It's funny, right? It's not funny, I just, Focusing on the 100 things right now. This is not funny. I've had enough. Sorry, Chef. I'm done with you. Come over, you. Kristen, stop standing there like, oh, do, 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 do. Christina, write that ticket on her fucking back. Kristen, behind you. Get up here. Yes, Chef. Turn around. Oh, my God. What is happening right now? Why are you writing on my chef coat? Do not let her forget what's on that table. Yes, Chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. What's on this table? Turn around, please. Yeah. Two specials, two lamb, two risotto, two snapper, two wellington, two tuna. Thank you. Just yes, got chef. It. Call back the order. Two special, two lamb, two risotto, two wellington, two tuna. And? Uh, two snapper, chef. Finally. Let's go. With Kristen now able to repeat the first ticket of entrees over in the blue kitchen. Fine now. Two wellington, one vegetarian, we know. There's hey, your two hey, garnishes hey, right there, hey, Chad. Hey, hey, hey. Pay attention. Hey, don't fucking push me. Relax. You got Listen, it. entree, one tuna, two wellington, one vegetarian. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. The men get started on their first order of entrees, which includes a request for a vegetarian risotto. This is vegetarian, no lobster. No lobster, no lobster, but it needs everything else. Ready to walk. Watch your back. Wellington's okay, going to the pan. Tuna on the right. Vegetarian, chef. Oh, my God. Hey, I know they may be vegetarian, but they deserve better than that. Who gave me that? I gave it to you, Chef. The rice is fucking raw. What the fuck, bro? Kevin. Is that your respect for vegetarian? No, Chef. Come on, finish your off, get the rice cooked. Yes, Chef. Put stock in there. Put stock I got in it, there. I got it, I got it. 
You watch him, you gotta help. Yeah. I don't have time for this. You know, if you can't do it, get the fuck out and I'll do it. Chef, on your left with a vegetarian. Perfectly cooked. Service, please. Way to go, Jared. Thanks to Jared, the men can continue to push forward on entrees. Meanwhile, the red team. Ready with Welly. Tuna's ready. Char. Is ready with their first entrees. Put them down. Thank you, Chef. Beautifully cooked, let's go. Trace, please, service. Yes! I think we got this. One up with you, Dom. Oh my God, this is delicious. Oh, fucking hell. Fire to Arctic Char to Wellington. Yes, yes chef. chef. Garnish in the window, three minutes, please. Yes, Chef. Since I'm in garnish, this is now my chance to push out orders and make sure that everything's getting up to the pass on time. I got this. Garnish ready? Uh, yes. Yes? Walking now. Right? To Wellington. Wait, 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 wait. To, to hold five, two minutes. Amanda, don't tell me to cut the shit if you're not fucking ready. Ugh. There's nothing I can do to save this. The meat doesn't hold forever. Amanda, how long do you need? Two minutes, chef. Two minutes. Yes. While the red team waits, back in the blue kitchen. Fire now. Buzz Aldrin to tuna for Wellington. Yes, 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 chef. yes, yes chef. Chef Ramsay looks to Hassan on meat to pilot this VIP ticket. Hassan, focus on your table. Yes, chef. Put the Wellingtons in for me, Kevin. Hey, Wellington's going in the oven. Where's he going? Where's that video going? Oh, whoa, whoa. They're whoa, done. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bring Get those back, please, please. Get them over here. Kevin, they're already cooked, man. We're cooking the ones that aren't cooked. Back up before you get slapped up, bro. Man, hey, you. I'll kick you to the fucking moon. Come here. Oh, damn. Not good. He may be an astronaut, but you're a space cadet. Are you OK? Yes, chef. You sure? Yes, chef. Fucking hell. While Kevin attempts to come back to Earth. The V4 fired ASAP. Please make it happen. Over in the red kitchen. Amanda, how long on garnish? Mies on meat and Jackie on fish are waiting on Manda's. Garnishes? Once again. Can we have the garnish? I just need a few more. Amanda just could not get the garnishes out fast enough. I I'm sorry, Chef. No, no, help me to help you. What is it? No. Two things, potato and beans. Potato and beans. Potato yes. and beans, let's Chef. go. Amanda, how long do you need? Because I gotta refire. Oh my God, what the fuck is wrong with her? Amanda, you are screwing our teeth. I think it's overcooked. If you're not comfortable with it, don't serve it. I'm not serving that. No, I'm not serving that. Oh my God. Meese! Oh God, fuck! You put the Wellington in the trash. Hey, hey, stop. All of you, come here. I know, chef. Cooked perfectly, and it's in the trash. Cooked perfectly, it's in the trash. Seriously, this is crazy. Never throw in the trash. I will tear into that meat caveman style, like I'm fucking starving. We're 75 minutes in. We served one fucking table of entree. We put more food in the trash can than we have in the dining room. Why did you throw it away? It was beautiful. Get that in the yes, trash. Chef. Ladies, come on, this is not rocket science. Just focus, focus, focus. Ugh, you okay? I found it. I know. With Meese trashing the red team's momentum, the blue team. Are you, we ready to go? Let's go, let's go, All let's right, go. I'm cutting my wellies then. Has picked up speed and is ready to blast entrees out to Buzz Aldrin's table. Garnish, welcome to window Wellington. Four Wellingtons on your right. Two tunas. Dime, dime, dime. Service, please. Let's go. We got this shit. Let's crank it out. You guys, come on. Let's finish this out strong. All right, sir. Here you go. Got you. That's the best tuna I think I've ever had, really. Meanwhile, back in the red kitchen. Garnish walking, girls. Put them down. Thank you, Chef. Chef Ramsay is looking for Jackie to deliver. Arctic char. Arctic char. And finally complete their second order of entrees. Char. Hey, hey, all of you, come here. Just touch that. Danny, just touch that. Come on, come on, quick. Just touch that. Yeah, it's cold. Touch it, touch. Fuck. Stone cold! Jackie, we're stuck in neutral. Fuck my life. Jeff Ramsey is going to eliminate me right here. Jackie, come here! Fucking useless. Oh no. Oh no. 
for the last time. Get it together. Yes, chef. I gotta refire this fucking shit. Go, come back for a glass of char, yes? How long on this char? Jackie? How long for that char? Three minutes, chef. The rest of the table are eating their entrees. I know, chef. You guys can start. Start. It gets cold. Fucking half the table's eating. So I got Chef Ramsay screaming, where's the char? Oh, the char. Don't worry. I'm with it. I'm bout it, bout it. I can't wait. It's just not good enough. Hey, all of you, all of you, come here. Arms. Come here. It's cold and raw. I, I, I'm done. I'm fucking done. I am done. Get out. Get out. I told you I would put up another service this bad. Get out, Vanessa. Get to the door. Damn it. This sucks. Somebody needs to go home tonight. It's just completely unacceptable. It's like it's, we're hitting walls instead of jumping hurdles. While the red team vents their frustrations. Keep it together, guys. The blue team places their final entree on the pass. Right, blue team, into the red kitchen now. Let's go. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Go, fellas, let's go. Our turn, baby. What do we got? Four Wellingtons away. Three minutes to the window. Let's go. Yes, yes chef. chef. You guys, let's finish strong here. Two Wellingtons. You walk this, I'm going to walk the sauce, right? Oh, yeah, you go walk that sauce. To not only finish our service, but also the red team service, we're on top of the world right now. Chef wants you now. Pick it the fuck up. You guys can thank the blue team later for finishing service. Stand there, all of you. Unbelievable. Tonight, you got completely dominated in service. Get upstairs and think of two individuals who your team would be stronger with that. Is that clear? Yes, yes chef. chef. Get out. Move, move, move. This is fucking embarrassing. We had a chance for redemption, but we have two jokes on our team. They royally fucked up tonight, and I think it's time for one of them to go. So who's up tonight? It's pretty simple. Who's going up for me? Uh, Mies and Amanda. That shouldn't have happened. Mies, that's where it got fucked. It is what it is. That's what it is. I might have thrown some shit out, but dude, I cooked everything perfectly, OK? It's not a personal thing. Move on. My Wellington's in the trash did not fucking send him to the edge. No, the fish station did, sending up that raw fucking Arctic char. I vote the fuck fish station. What the fuck? Are you out of your fucking mind? Are you out of your fucking mind? I was the most good I've ever been. You fucking fucked up the fish. I fucked up the fish because of garnish. The fish was ready, but garnish was not ready. Yeah. Vanessa, you can't go home if you don't make mistakes, but you can't make any mistakes if you don't do anything. At least I put myself up there. I know that my timing was off, but I'm not the weakest chef at all. My timing being off shouldn't have made you throw your Wellingtons away. My Wellingtons were ready to fucking go the whole fucking time. That we are, oh, I'm getting angry. There should be no excuse besides, I fucked up, I did the wrong thing. There just seems to be no ownership and no responsibility. We're just running around in circles. The two weakest chefs, in my opinion, is Vanessa and Jackie. Me? But, like, what are we saying here? Vanessa knows that she may not be completely strong. Vanessa's trying, like, it is what it is. Let's just move on. Exactly. I can't agree with you more. Can I ask who is now finally up for elimination? Misa and, and um, Amanda. What an embarrassment. Ladies, you all took a huge step backwards tonight. Have you reached a decision? Yes, Chef. Ariel, first nominee and why? Chef, our first nominee tonight is Mies. We can't really get over the fact that she threw product away that was good. Second nominee and why? <sighs> um. Ariel, who's the weakest chef? Fuck me. Unbelievable. Chef, our second nominee is Vanessa. She can 
consistently is not being a team player for us. She's not communicating, she's not speaking up. Vanessa, Meese, step forward. Meese, are you the weakest chef in the red team? I am absolutely not the weakest chef here. I believe that Vanessa is the weakest chef. I'm definitely stronger than Meese. I don't throw multiple expensive products in the trash. Meese, why do you deserve, young lady, to stay in Hell's Kitchen? I deserve to be here. My heart's in it. I don't know what went through my mind to make me make such a big mistake, and I will never do that again. Vanessa, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I deserve to stay in Hell's Kitchen because I deserve to run DLT. This has been my dream forever. I want to win, and I know I can win. My decision is... Meese. Get back in line. Vanessa, your time is done. Yes, sir. I don't think you believe in yourself enough. And after three services, I don't believe in you. You're not ready, young lady. Give me your jacket, please. Thank you, Chef, for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And I'm sorry for disappointing you. Thank Good you. Night. Good night. Bye, everybody. I'm definitely disappointed that Chef Ramsay wasn't able to see the real me in this competition. This opportunity meant everything to me. I wanted to do it for my mom because she's my biggest fan. I was supposed to win. I was supposed to win. I told her I was going to win. After three services and three challenges, I'm still waiting for somebody to emerge and get out of here. These girls are hating on me, but at the end of the day, the final decision is based on Chef Ramsay. And if he sees something in me, then all the bitches can go fuck off. Yes. Blue team has their shit together. Red team's obviously just garbage. Clean up on aisle 10. That wasn't a decision. Chef Ramsay asked me to make a decision. I made a decision. When Chef asked me that question, I told him who the two weakest people were. And Vanessa and Meese went up and Vanessa went home. You can't change it now. Vanessa had a lot of heart. But as far as her cooking was concerned, she made food only a mother could love. <laughs>